Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight, I want to speak to you from the book of John chapter 5. John chapter 5. The book of John chapter 5, by the grace of God. And I want to tell you tonight that mercy will break protocol to find you. Hear me tonight. I said mercy will break protocol to find you. Mercy will break protocol to find you. I want you to hold that word in your spirit. Mercy will break protocol to find you. Glory to God. The book of John chapter 5 and from verse 1. After this, there was a feast of the Jews and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. After this, there was a feast of the Jews and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now, there is in Jerusalem by the sheep gate a pool, which is, which is called in Hebrew Bethesda, having five porches. In these lay a great multitude of sick people, blind. In these lay a multitude of sick people, blind, lame, paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain time into the pool and stared up the water. Then whoever stepped in first after staring up the water was made well of whatever disease he had. Now a certain man was there who had an infirmity 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had already been, uh, he, that he already had been in that condition a long time, he said to him, do you want to be made well? The sick man answered him, sir, I have no man to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. But while I am coming, another steps down before me. Jesus said to him, come on, you better take note of the things Jesus said. Jesus said to him, rise, take up your bed and walk. And immediately the man was made well took up his bed and walked, and that day was the Sabbath. The Jews therefore said to him who was cured, it is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to carry your bed. He answered them, he who made me well said to me, take up your bed and walk. Oh my God. But the one who was healed did not know who it was. For Jesus had withdrawn a multitude being in that place. Afterward, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you have been made well. Sin no more, lest the worst thing come upon you. The man departed and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had made him well. Come on, Jesus had made him well. Mercy will break protocol to find you. I want somebody to hear me tonight. This is the word of the Lord to you tonight. That no matter what condition you are in. No matter what situation you are in. No matter what the atmosphere is around you. Mercy shall break protocol to find you and I'm here to prophesy to someone tonight that the Lord has seen your matter that the Lord has seen your condition that the Lord has seen your situation and I'm here to say to you that protocols are about to be broken protocols are about to be bypassed systems are about to be 
insulted and God is now entering in for mercy shall break protocol to find you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says there was a feast that was going on in Jerusalem and it was the feast of the tabernacles that was going on at this particular time when Jesus visited Jerusalem. Three feasts that are required by the law that the Israelite males should appear in Jerusalem. The feast of unleavened bread, the feast of weeks, and the feast of tabernacles. How fitting is it that Jesus, he who came down to tabernacle amongst men in the form of humanity, took on flesh and became man. He was tabernacling with them and they didn't know that he was there. Listen, it is possible that in your celebration, you can miss Jesus. Hear me very well. I said it is possible that in your celebration, you can miss Jesus because your celebration is not about Jesus. Your celebration is about your own doing, your own party, your own fulfillment. It is possible that you can be celebrating and Jesus is there, but you miss him. And this was what was happening in that crowd right there. The king of glory, the one who is tabernacling with men was present in their midst, yet they did not recognize that the glory carrier, the glory himself was there in the midst of them. I pray that your eyes will be open, that you will be sensitive to know and to discern when the presence of the Lord is in the midst of us. It was a feast. People were celebrating. They were enacting and fulfilling, but they did not realize that the glory himself was present there. The Bible said that now in Jerusalem by the sheep gate. I want to take you into this because you need to understand what is going on in this scripture and in this passage, what is happening. There was by the sheep gate a, 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 a pool, right? We uh, In Hebrew, it is called Bethesda. Bethesda means house of kindness and house of mercy. Now, I want you to picture what is going on. The Bible said there were lo lo lying at that place were many people, a great multitude of sick people, a great multitude of blind and lame and those who were paralyzed. And there was one man there that the Bible highlighted who had an issue, a sickness for 38 years. It's not that he was lying by the pool for 38 years. We don't know how long he was by the pool, but he had an issue for 38 years. Listen, no matter how long your issue or your condition has been, Jesus will enter into your matter. Now, this man was by the pool for uh, 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 at the pool uh, that is called the house of kindness or the house of mercy, but he was being shown no mercy. There are some of you, you are crying out for mercy, but no mercy is locating you because of the crowd that you are in, because of the company that you are in, because of the people that you are around. You are around people who want mercy, but not people who want to give mercy. You see, your, your, your crowd has to change. You see, you cannot be around people who are broken, busted, and disgusted and expect to get your miracle. You have to change your crowd. Your crowd has to change. And if your crowd does not change, then you have to change your focus from the pool to the one who is stirring the pool. It is not about the pool. It is about the one who is stirring the pool. Come on. Mercy, mercy in times of distress. You see, we, we, we are crying out for mercy even in times of distress and rebellion against God. We are crying out for mercy. And even when we are rebelling against God, because Israel was in a rebellious state, they were waiting in, they, 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 not waiting, rather they were, they were 
under the yoke of the Roman system because of their rebellious nature against God. And even then, God still was sending an angel to stir the pool. But listen, the one who is the pool of miracles showed up and they did not recognize him. Come on, they did not recognize this miracle worker. There was a great multitude of sick people. What crowd are you in? This is the question the Lord is asking you. What kind of crowd are you in? It is time to shift your crowd. It is time to shift your crowd. There were two sets of crowd that were present around this time in Jerusalem. A crowd of sick folk, a crowd of blind folk, a crowd of lame people, a crowd of paralyzed people. And here was a man who was inside of this condition. He, he, he was inside of this crowd because of his condition. Tonight, your condition will change because mercy will break protocol to find you. Your crowd is now going to change. When Jesus touched this man, when Jesus spoke to this man, he shifted his crowd and he went into the temple of those who were celebrating. He went into the arena of those who were rejoicing. Listen, your crowd is going to shift. No matter how long your condition, no matter how long your issue, no matter how how long your situation, no matter how long the enemy has had his time and his field day in your life, I am telling you that your crowd is going to shift. Your position is shifting right now. You got to understand that this man was at a point where he was supposed to get mercy, but he was not getting mercy. Can you imagine those who were blind waiting to go into the pool, but it was a man who had a little scratch on his hand that jumped into the pool before the man who was blind or before the one who was paralyzed could get there. Somebody with a little condition that don't require great mercy. They are the ones who was getting the mercy and the ones who should be getting the mercy were not getting the mercy. Listen, the Lord is breaking protocol to find you. You see, there are those who do not care about your condition. We have some selfish people in the kingdom Kingdom. Listen, the condition, your condition has a time limit. The Bible was very careful to say that the man had this condition for 38 years. Listen, no matter what condition you find yourself in, your condition has a time limit and that time limit has come. I want you to put a full stop tonight on your condition. Come on, mercy is putting a full stop on your condition tonight. Come on. I said mercy is putting a full stop on your condition tonight because God is about to break protocol to find you. That's the message I'm here to tell you tonight. And God wants you to connect your faith even to what Jesus did for the man who was at the pool of Bethesda. The house of mercy is being activated for you because mercy will break protocol to find you. And mercy is putting a full stop on your condition tonight. I don't care what your matter is. I don't care what your condition is. I don't care what the situation is. There have been those who could have helped you, but they did not help you. There were those who had the ability to fix your matter, but they did not fix your matter. There were those who could throw you into the pool, but instead of throwing you into the pool, they jumped into the pool themselves for conditions that did not require mercy for conditions that did not require healing or deliverance yet they jumped into the pool ahead of you listen god is saying look i'm gonna break protocol to find you it was the sabbath day come on the bible said it was the sabbath day that jesus went to this place specifically. He didn't go to the place where they were celebrating. He went to the place where the man with an issue for 38 years. How long have your condition been in your life? How long has your situation been in your life? Tonight is the full stop. Tonight is the full stop. Come on. I said tonight is the full stop. A full stop is coming on your matter. A full stop is coming on your issue. A full stop is coming on your distress. A full stop is coming on your sickness. A full stop is coming on the disease. A full stop is coming
coming under frustration. A full stop is coming under confusion. A full stop is coming under, under selfishness that has been prevailing against your life. I said a full stop is coming on it because mercy is rewriting your condition tonight. The Lord is saying to you tonight, hear me, that mercy is breaking protocol to find you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I said mercy is breaking protocol to find you tonight by the grace of God. Hallelujah. The Bible went further to say that, they, that Jesus saw the man lying there. You see, there are some conditions that have been in your life that has paralyzed you. Financial situations that have paralyzed you. Marital situations that have paralyzed you. Business and economic situations that have paralyzed you. Witchcraft situations that have paralyzed you. My God, selfish ambitions of men that have paralyzed you. Oh, mighty God of Daniel. I don't know what has paralyzed you or how you have ended up in a state of paralysis. But the Bible says the man was lying there. And Jesus knew that he had been in that condition a long time. I want somebody to hear me tonight. That the Lord is saying to you that he knows that you have been in that condition for a long time. Yes, he knows that you have been in this situation for a while now. But listen, the one who has created time, the one who dwells and inhabits eternity, has stepped out of eternity into time. Listen, when eternity invades time, there is a full stop on time. I said when eternity invades time, there is a full stop that is put on time. When glory enters your matter, time is no more a factor. Hear me, somebody. I said when glory enters your matter, time is no longer a factor. My God, my God. I said, how long have you been in that condition? Jesus already knows how long you have been in that condition, but your condition was meant for the glory of the Lord to be revealed in the earth realm. Jesus asked the man a question, do you want to be made well? You see, the issue is tonight, it is not about your condition, it is about what you want, because mercy has already invaded mighty God, and protocols are broken right now. So the question is, what do you want? Jesus is asking the question, do you want to stay in your condition or do you want to be made well? The question tonight in the glory, when in this midst of this season of this uh, glory invasion where, the, where, where mercy is invading your matter, God is asking you a question. What do you want now? Do you want to be made well? Because glory and mercy has invaded your matter. You see, when you are in your condition, you have to be careful how you focus on your condition. You need to focus not on your condition, but on the mercy of God that has entered your matter. Stop talking about who is not helping you. Stop talking about who has gone ahead of you. Stop talking about who is not uh, 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 lifting you up and throwing you into the pool. Stop talking about how long you have been in this situation. Stop talking about uh, who is this and who is that and who is doing what. Uh, listen, God is asking you a question. Do you want to be made well? My God, what does your heart want. You see, your miracle will not be released until your head and until your heart align with the mercies of God. Mercy is here, but is are you going to allow your condition to continue to prevail in your head and in your heart? Or are you going to allow mercy to break protocol, to find your matter and deal with it? You see, some of you, you are complaining too much about who who is not doing this and who is not doing that and who could have helped you and who didn't help you and who further exasperate your matter. The Lord is not asking you about that. In fact, that is not a matter at this moment. Your head and your heart must align now to what God wants to do in your life. Your head and your heart now 
now must align to what God wants to accomplish in your situation, your condition. A full stop has been put on it. But listen, you can remove the full stop and put a comma by virtue of your response to Jesus Christ. What do you want to happen for you right now? What do you want? Stop talking about who is not helping you and who is this and who is that. That's not what Jesus is asking you tonight. Do you want to come out of this situation? Do you want to come out of this issue? Do you want to come out of it? Stop talking about the time that you have lost. Yes, it has been 38 years. Yes, it has been 50 years. Yes, it has been 14 years. But I know a man that can redeem time and give you back 10 years in one day. I know a man who can redeem time and give you back 50 years in five minutes. I know a man who can redeem time and bring jubilee in a second. Come on, glory has invaded your matter. Mercy has invaded your situation. It's not about how long you have been in, in that matter now it's about what you want do you want to come out of it do you want mercy to break protocol to invade your situation or do you want to stay in it that's the question that the spirit of the lord is asking you tonight that's the question jesus said to him Come on, few little words. He said, rise, take up your bed and walk. Three instructions, three very important instructions that the Lord has given to this man. Listen, it is time to rise out of your condition. You have been moping and, grop and, and, and groaning about your matter for too long now. You have been in the, in the realm of gloom and doom for too long now. It, the power my God, the power of your miracle is in your response. The release of your miracle is in your response. Mighty God, mighty God of Daniel, rise. Come on, come on. It is time to rise. Come on, come on. I want you to touch yourself and say, hey, it is time to rise. Enough of this situation. Enough of this condition. Enough of this atmosphere. Enough of this crowd. Enough of this place. Enough of it. It is time to rise it is time to rise come on come on speak to your heart it is time to rise it is time to rise enough of this situation enough of this condition enough of this crowd enough of this matter it is time to rise jesus says rise i am saying to you tonight rise i am saying to you tonight get up i am saying to you tonight up i'm saying to you tonight stand up i'm saying to you tonight resurrection has come rise 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 it is time to get up come on speak to your faith speak to your heart come on speak to your spirit it is time to rise it is time to be awakened from my disease it is time to get up from my place of bondage it is time to get up from the thing that has been holding me captive it is time to come out of my past it is time to get out of my hurt it is time to get out of my pain it is time to get out of my revenge and my anger and my bitterness it is time to get out of it it is time to stop letter allowing the things that have been done to me 20 years ago to continue to hold me captive it is time to rise come on it is time to rise come on touch yourself jesus said rise time to rise time to take control of of what is controlling you take up your bed take up your bed what is it that has been holding you in a paralyzed position it is time to take over come on come on be it uh, my god your bed be it your issue be it your finances your marriage your education your business be it your traveling be it some agent of darkness be it a system mighty god of daniel it is time to take control of what has been controlling you take it up take it up take it by the tail the lord said to moses moses take the serpent by the tail come on you gotta understand what the lord told moses to do god told moses Moses to take a snake by the tail. You can't take a snake by the tail. The snake will turn around and wrap you and strike you and kill you. But listen, when you have been given control over the things that have been controlling you, when you, no matter how you hold it, it will not harm you. No matter where you touch it, it will not strike you. Listen, God 
says, listen, take it by the tail. When faith comes into being, you laugh at danger. When faith is activated, you laugh at the things that have been mocking you, that have been insulting you. It is time to take control of whatever has been controlling you. Who is it that has been releasing and exerting control over you? Who is it that has been cowing you down, holding you down, holding you back, and, and, and manipulating your progress and your movement? My God, if it is a sickness, you are taking control. Maketo if it is an individual, you are taking control. If it is something in your heart, you are taking control. If it is a system, you are taking control. Oh my God, you are taking control. I want you to realize the next thing that the Lord said, get up and do what? Walk, rise, take up your bed and do what? Walk. My God, my God, it is time to walk. It is time for a shift. It is time for a move. It is time for an elevation. My God, my God, it is time for a movement. It is time for a shift. It is time for an elevation to occur. You have to understand that the man was down and uh, 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 on the steps. He had to go down the steps to get to the pool. So he was down in a descent. So Jesus told him, rise, take up your bed and do what? Walk, ascend the stairs that you have descended. It is time for an elevation. The Lord is saying the time has come. My God, my God. I said the time has come. This is the prophetic word to you tonight. The time has come. You got to understand that when your time has come, mercy, my God, will not consider the system when your time for miracle arrives. I said when your time of miracle arrives, Mercy does not care about the system. I said, when your time of miracle arrives, mercy does not care about the system. Mercy will break protocol to find you. My God, my God, it was the Sabbath day that Jesus performed this miracle. And it was not lawful for the man to carry his bed on the Sabbath day. But Jesus said, take up your bed. I'm breaking all protocols today. Day. I'm breaking all systems today because uh, mercy has arrived. Kindness has arrived. Mighty God of Daniel, I'm here to say to somebody tonight that in this elevation glory room that your mercy has been released and no matter the protocols that are in place and the systems that are in place that have been holding you in the condition that you are in, protocols will be broken for you katabashi akoto rasatai as a protocols will be broken for you in the mighty name of Jesus i said when god wants to deliver you protocol is not a factor hear me somebody i said when god is ready to release mercy on your life protocol is not an issue i said when god is ready to release his goodness and his mercy upon your life the systems is not a factor. I am here to tell somebody that the glory is cutting through systems tonight. I said the glory is cutting through dimensions and realms. It may have closed, but God is going to open it up for you. Mighty God of Daniel, I said the time period to send in, my God, your proposal might have closed, but God will open back the door for you because mercy is on its way to break protocol for your deliverance. Oh, glory to God. It might have been that there is someone that is standing there that does not like you and does not want to extend the hand of mercy for you, but mercy will bypass them to get to where God wants you to get to. I'm here to tell somebody tonight that I have a word of miracle in my mouth, that the protocols are being broken, whether the protocols are in government, whether the protocols are in the banking sector, whether the protocols are in another arena. I don't care where the protocols are located. I'm here to tell you tonight that those protocols are not going to be a factor. It might have been that 
on, on, on the books. It, it, it might have been for the next three years before you will get an increase in your salary or in your income. I'm telling you that mercy will bypass those protocols and those systems tonight to get to where you need to get to. Mighty God of Daniel, protocol is not a factor. God will break protocols to deliver you tonight. I said God will break protocols to deliver you tonight because your crowd must shift. Hear me somebody, your crowd is shifting. You are coming out of the broken, busted and disgusted. You are coming out of the distressed, the depressed and those that are in debt. Come on, you are coming out of the discontented. I said your crowd is shifting. You are coming out of the crowd of the mournful into the crowd of those who are merry. I said protocols are being broken for you tonight. I hear the Lord saying a shift. I hear the Lord saying mercy. I hear the Lord saying the breaking of protocols for your deliverance has come. Angels are gone out for you. Glory is being activated for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on. I am oh my God. I think you should be excited for what God is about to do for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No matter the protocol, no matter how long your condition, it is not a factor tonight. For mercy shall break protocol to find you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Your miracle, my friend, is in a word. And I have released that word tonight. I have released that word out of my mouth tonight. And I'm telling you that God will back up this word with his glory and with his power. Mercy has broken protocol to find you tonight. No matter your situation, no matter your issue, no matter your condition, I want you to rise, take up your bed and walk. The miracle has been released. The glory has been released. The word has been released. And it shall come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you tonight as you step into your miracle in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen and